Okay, this is Rod. Welcome to my video. In this video, we're going to discuss uh, CSS positioning rules. And I went ahead and I created a document. If you go to position W3 CSS in Google, the second from the top will be the CSS position property. And today I want to discuss static, relative, absolute, and fixed positioning. And uh, these are different position rules you can use on your website to position your elements. So I'm going to put these side by side. The uh, static positioning comes by default. So without you having to position anything, it's already static. So I don't really even have to put it in there. The only difference with static is you can't really move it around the page if it's default positioning. So um, I'm going to sh show you, I'm going to try to move it around by trying to get it to move from the top 80 pixels. And as you can see, when I refresh, it won't move. It's basically static. If you do want to move it around, you can use relative positioning. Change that to relative and save it. And now it's you can move the element around the page. You can move it to the top. Uh, you can move it to the left. Pretty much whichever position you want it to be in. You can move it around the page in relative positioning. And you could showing you even more that you can do there with relative. And you can even go all the way down to 300 pixels to left, to right, uh, pretty much anything you want to do. You can even put it all the way at the bottom like I'm about to do right here. So that's relative positioning. Uh, the other two positions, positioning I'm going to do next. Uh, the next one is uh, absolute. Now with absolute, the element will position in a manner that is unaffected by the other elements. It is oblivious to any other elements and vice versa. The other elements are oblivious to it. Sometimes it will even position directly on top of other elements. So we'll do position absolute and save that and as you can see it just positions anywhere regardless of where the page is. You can still move it around to where you want it to be like if you want it to go down 300 pixels you can make it go down left right up down you can still move it around but that it, it has that quality to where it's completely oblivious or um, uh, I think that's the only word I can think of right now. The uh, last position that we want to use is uh, is the fixed positioning. And uh, in order to do this, uh, I'm going to uh, create another paragraph and just put a lot of verbiage on it, just so you can see uh, how it works. So lorem tab will just give you a bunch of verbiage and as you can see there's just a lot of verbiage there. And now I'm going to do position fixed and it fixes the uh, fixed position is not recognized by other elements and it's fixed relative to the browser window. So it will Sometimes it'll have the quality of absolute positioning where it's, you know, it, it doesn't recognize other elements. Uh, but aside from that, it will also be fixed on the page. So you can scroll all the way up and down, and that element is fixed relative to the browser and not to the uh, web page itself. So that's used a lot on nav bars. For example, if you go to monkeyrod.com, my website, the nav bar uh, across the top there is fixed at that position. And you can scroll up and down 
the nav bar isn't going anywhere. So that's uh, one of the ways that you can use fixed positioning. That's it. Thank you for watching.